Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here to share with you uh, my first journal is finally complete. It was <laughs> definitely a labor of love, and I want to thank Kim for inspiring me to do it because I went kicking and screaming into it because it just was intimidating to me, but um, here it is finished. So thank you, Kim, for the inspiration and the encouragement. A lot of the uh, embellishments um, in this journal we worked on on Kim's channel during her lives, so I'll have a link to Kim's channel below so that you can go, you know, check those out if you want to. And also, I used um, a lot of different printables um, in here from, I think, three different places, <laughs> maybe four. I'm really bad at remembering, but I am going to link each of the places that I did use the digitals from. Uh, I will link them below because I'm not going to remember when I'm going through it, but I can go back and look, and I will make sure to link the proper places. I know I used some My Porch prints and some shabby um, art boutique and I but I don't remember the others but I will I will have them linked below because I just got some a lot of inspiration from those printables so for the cover I used this beautiful quilted um, it was like a pillow sham that had this beautiful ribbon work and I got that from Nanny's Attic on Facebook which is Nola's Facebook shop this is just beautiful so I knew I wanted to use that for the cover. It was already quilted and so pretty. But then I just thought I wanted to add flowers all over it. So that's what I've done. I made um, a lot of handmade flowers and put a lot of appliques just everywhere. <laughs> so it's totally covered in beautiful flowers, which I think is so pretty. And then on the side, I have some ribbons and pearls and one of my spool charms. And that does open up. It's a, like a snippet spool charm. And I have it uh, closed with some cotton lace. And it just explodes <laughs> when you open it, which I guess that's how it goes. So let's see, that's the back. Wow. All right. Here we go. So on the inside, we made these covers actually on one of Kim's uh, lives. So you can go check that out if you want to. And it is a, um, a hidden spine. Okay, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> this is the inside cover. I made this beautiful pocket out of this lace. Um, this metal and applique butterfly embellishment that I created and in this pocket is this adorable little file folder Which I think came from my porch prints, but I'm not totally sure I added a little um, Paper heart charm I tied it together with some ribbon and inside Now here, let me just Let's just do this Inside there is a little belly band with two teeny tiny little envelopes that have little letters in them. Because how cute is that? I can't. It's adorable. So those are there. And then there's um, a tag back here. And then I just put um, pink dyed paper, which I got the pink dyed paper from uh, Trace of Sparkle, Jennifer. I bought those from her. And I do know that these little um, definitions came from my porch prints. Super, super cute. I need to tie that back together. I added some avocado dyed laces that I um, dyed myself. And then I don't remember, the pages all came from one journal kit that I purchased and I will link that below. I don't remember right now, I'm sorry, but I love them. Um, a little pink heart doily that was also um, purchased from A Trace of Sparkle. It came in the pink kit. It had pink paper, pink doilies, pink um, little bags, and it was just so super cute. So here is a pink um, brown, brown, a pink brown. It's a pink paper bag <laughs> that I decorated uh, the front of, and now the sun's shining, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. 
all of a sudden here comes the sun and then inside there is a little tag that I have sewn some lace to and I added these little um, fabric snippets to most most of the pages that I, I have sewn on and I added well you know how much I love a pocket letter and I have so many <laughs> card sleeves I decided to add that to my journal so Actually, this pocket is a shaker pocket in the middle, and then this pocket has a tag that you can journal on. It has two tickets that you can use, and then it has some of the pink dyed paper that you can journal on. And then here is a pocket and um, a fabric pleated ruffle. I hope you can see, okay, with the sun. But aren't these pages, they're beautiful. I absolutely love, love the pages. So this is one of the pink dyed bags I got from Jennifer. And this is a tuck spot. And these are the little altered slides with a charm that uh, we made on Kim's channel. Super cute. There's a couple of those in here. And then inside this pocket is this little, uh, what is it called? Seed, seed pocket? Seed envelope? And then there is a tag inside of that. So cute. Here's some more of the uh, lace that I dyed. And this is um, wallpaper with one of my snippet um, hidden paper clips with a couple of tickets tucked under. Another dyed doily. These are the little pockets that I made out of Kim's what are they called? Alteration tags, I think. And I made it into a little um, pocket and I added some snippets and some charms and it's just so cute. I do have a video, I think, on this. And then I just created this um, little tag. I sewed some fabric on it and I think this is from a Stamperia paper pad. Pretty sure. And then here is just a little um, tuck spot with a couple adorable little tickets in there. This is another one of the altered slides. And then I just made this little um, snippet to tuck back there. This is another one of the uh, snippet hidden paper clips that I created. And it's holding on to a little bag, and inside the bag is a little um, tag. Super cute. I just love this paper. It's adorable. Adorable. So um, I just added this to this side of the pink um, bag, and inside the bag is another bag <laughs> with some of the pink dyed paper that you can write on with this adorable little image, which I'll have the uh, link to the place where I got these printable images too. It's a really cute uh, kit that I got from Shabby Art Boutique, I think is the name, but I'm bad at that, so it'll be below. And then here is a uh, pink dyed envelope, and I've got some ephemera tucked in there and another one of my snippet paper clips. And then here's the other side of that um, card sleeve. So there's more of the pink dyed paper. There's a tag and uh, there is uh, this little charm I made where you can just add it anywhere you want to in the book. This is some more of the lace that I dyed. And this is another um, file folder that I made into a pocket. And then it has this little tag you can journal on with this little heart hanging off of it. And that is attached to the pink paper bag, which has a slide in over here with a, a stickled tag attached. And that is the first signature. And so on this one, I created another pocket using, um, I think it's my porch prints. And it has these little library cards that go with it and I just altered them and that slides right in there and then this is um, from a Stamperia paper pad and I just sewed everything together onto a um, 
some music paper and then I just have a tag tucked in there and I added this vintage lace to the side. Oops. And then I've got another um, tuck spot on the other side with a little tag I created. More of the beautiful paper. And then here is another altered slide with a charm and tucked into that is one of these um, dyed um, little paper bags with some of the pink dyed paper to journal on inside and with these adorable little images I got from the print printable. The heart, more fabric snippets. Oh, another uh, one of those. I had so much fun doing these slides. So here's another slide and tucked in there is another tag. And inside the bag is a library card, altered and stickled, of course. Of course, everything should be sparkled. More dyed lace. Um, a little brown paper bag with a couple of tickets. Super cute. And then this, I can't, I feel like we did this on a live. It might have been on my channel. I don't even remember. It was minor kins, but it's a trifold. And um, on the back, I left a, a little pocket. So there's a library card sliding in there. And I actually got this trifold idea from Tracy Fox. Um, and it's just super cute. So it opens like this. And then it has a tag right here, a little pocket. This is actually a tuck spot if you want to tuck something back there. This is a place where you could journal. Another journal place. So it's very cute. And I just have it tied together with some seam binding. And then here is some more dyed lace and a doily. And then on uh, this piece of wallpaper, there is a uh, pocket made out of the library card. And this is also a little tuck spot on the front. And then here is another one of those pockets that I made using Kim's alteration tags. And then I've got, I don't know what's happening here. That should easily tuck in and out of there, but I, maybe the stickles were still wet. I don't know. So it tucks back there. It's got this cute little um, charm here, and then it's got this pocket with this tag I created. That's from the Stamperia paper pad, I'm pretty sure. I don't know which one. They're all pretty. And then here is another um, file folder pocket. So it has a pocket in the back with um, a tag I altered. And then it's got um, another tag on the inside. Super cute. And then on this piece of wallpaper, I created this little tuck spot with this adorable little tag. I did enjoy making the tags. It's very, very cute. And then I created um, this on this brown paper bag with another seed packet. I love these seed packets. I don't remember where I got them, of course, but they're so stinking cute. Love them. More fabric snippets. I did like putting the fabric snippets. I really did. And I also distressed every page with, um, what did I use? Worn lipstick, maybe? I don't know. I was enjoying the pink. I added some lace and a butterfly to this bag. And then on the inside is this little um, library card. And how cute is this? And this just slides right in there. Super cute. More pretty, pretty paper. Another tuck spot with some fabric and then the envelope. It's not easy to do this upside down, but there's a cute tag in there. And then there's another pocket on the back with some more of my hand dyed lace. So, oh my goodness. I have a newfound respect for everybody who takes the time to make these journals. They are um, a lot of work. There are so many hours of labor into this book. It's insane. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I think it's completely and totally beautiful. Um, I doubt I'll be making another one, though, because it consumed all my crafty time for months. 
I mean, I was working, so I didn't have a lot of crafty time, but literally for months. So uh, I want to thank you all for, who, you know, for coming out to the lives and supporting us and encouraging us to, to keep going and appreciating the work that we were doing. It was fun. And thanks again, Kim, for working on this with me and, and helping me to get through it. Because <laughs> now I can say I've done it. I might never say I've done it again, but I can say that I've done it. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think below. And thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you on the next one.